Iranian leadership has vowed to avenge the killing of Hamas political leader in Tehran. Ismail Haniya was killed by an airstrike in Tehran on Wednesday morning. Iran's supreme leader, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei announced today that because the attack took place in Tehran, we consider his revenge as our duty. Iran's newly elected moderate president Masoud Pazeshkian who was sworn in on Tuesday, also pledged to avenge the attack in Iran's soil. Pazeshkian said his country would defend its territorial integrity and honor, and make the terrorist occupiers regret their cowardly action. Ismail Haniyeh had been a VP guest of Pazeshkian's inauguration ceremony and was killed by an airstrike at a residence in Tehran. His funeral will be held in Tehran tomorrow, according to Hamas sources. A senior Hamas official described Haniyeh's killing as a cowardly act that will not go unpunished. Mediators Qatar and Egypt warned it would set back talks on a ceasefire and a deal to release hostages held in Gaza. The killing of Haniyeh came only hours after Israel said it had killed a top Hezbollah commander in Beirut. Although, Iran and Hamas have attributed the attack to Israel, the Israeli government has refused to comment on the Hamas leader's death. It should be noted that Israel vowed to kill all Hamas leaders after the October 7 attacks. Speaking after the assassinations, the U.S. Defense Secretary, Lloyd Austin, said the Biden administration was doing things to take the temperature down, but would come to Israel's defense if it were attacked. At least 123 people have been killed in massive landslides triggered by heavy rains in the southern Indian state of Kerala. Dozens of others are still feared to be trapped following the landslides. The landslides hit the Vainad district on early Tuesday with rescue teams dispatched in the area. According to Chief Minister Pinari Vijayan, the landslide has wiped out an entire area. The landslides have hit several areas in the district including Mandakai, Adamala, Koromala and Kunhom. Over 200 army personnel have also been deployed to help security forces in search and rescue efforts, according to official reports. Over 123 injured victims have been hospitalized and more than 3,000 people have been rescued and moved to 45 relief camps. The number of casualties are expected to be increased. Vainad, a hilly district which is part of the Western Ghats mountain range, is prone to landslides during the monsoon season.